France and uh, Korea. This final bout of the light fly around of 16. Uh, Jeremy Beku, 21 years of age, French national champion. Fifth in the recent European Championships this year in Ankara in Turkey. He's got a tough one today to get to the quarterfinals here. Yongshin from Korea. Ranked two in this competition, 22 years of age from the uh, Seoul Metro Boxing Club. 2011 Asian Championships gold medalist and also the bronze medalist in uh, this competition two years ago. Now the Korean. Shin Yong. Hot favourite to take this. Lost two years ago in the World Championships to David Arapatian, who we saw earlier this morning. Confirmation of our five judges. And uh, the Korean boxer in the blue corner brimming with confidence after taking the Asian Championship early this year. Ross Dubley from uh, New Zealand is the referee for the last bout in the light fly weight category. Shin Yong is uh, the top ranked boxer still in this competition. If you've been with us throughout this morning's activities, the top-ranked boxer, Salman Alizada, European champion from 2011, was knocked out by Pong Rayun of Thailand. But Shin, right down to business, straight into it. He doesn't want any hanging around here. And uh, Jeremy Beku of France is going to have his work cut out. Oh, the combinations are flying in here. To the body, to the head. Just a slight height, just a slight age advantage for the Korean fighter. Korean boxer. A warning for the French boxer for holding. Now. Inside of the glove, the warning. Shin seems to be having a few problems with his head guard. In between each combination, seems to have to adjust it somewhat. And the referee checking it as well. But again, lovely one-two from the Korean. Well, Beku in the red for France claimed his right to box for his country at these World Championships by taking his national competition earlier this year. And after a slightly nervous start from the Frenchman, he's settling in a little better now. Question. Shin is one of the big favourites for this. And accurate, powerful punches from the Korean. Frenchman's holding his own. Covering up, blocking well, looking for the counter. But a fast and furious first round as we count this one out from 15 seconds. Oh, a 
lovely one two there from Shin six points clear after the first round 10 four to the blue corner to the French boxer in the red and uh, as expected the Korean who came out meaning business from the moment the bell went not always getting through the defenses of the French boxer but when he does they're fast they're furious and they're accurate Well, a good slow-mo there of one of the good punches thrown by Beku of France. Doing well to take four out of that first round. Second round of three minutes. Same intensity in the second round as the first from Shin Yong of Korea. And the Asian champion, an impressive work rate. Not every one of them is hitting the target and scoring the points. Here comes Beku, showing that he's not done just yet. It's better boxing from the Frenchman. He's a tough character, the 21-year-old in the red corner. corner of the Korean boxer Just tell him to keep it covered up a little bit don't leave himself too open and exposed good round for the French boxer Certainly not intimidated by the Korean. Working well here. Grinding out his points. Keeping his momentum going. But there's another lovely jab from the Korean. And a lovely right shot as well. Good work from Jeremy Beku in the second round, but not enough to steer clear. Five to three for the Korean Shin Yong, and now 15 to seven. Better round from the French boxer in red, but again.
obs weaves keeps himself out of trouble so well and then counters with explosive speed and punches impressive boxing from the Asian champion Shin Yong there's a confirmation one of the judges there had the Frenchman actually winning that round after two 15-7 Eight point advantage for the blue corner. And just got to keep the same tactical play now. I'm sure that were the, those were the orders from the corner of Xin Yong. Doesn't want to ease off, does he at all? Wants to keep this going. And these two boxers putting on a very entertaining bout indeed. Contrasting styles. But still keeping that work rate at maximum at 100%. This needs to be careful, the Korean. Getting a little. A little cocky, maybe. Jeremy Baku still looking to land a big one. Just wants to restore a little bit of French pride here, if nothing else. Shin Yong has shown all the skills in this fight. He feints well, he defends well, he counters. He's got speed, he's got accuracy. Korea must be sensing here right now that they have a middle hope with this 22-year-old boxer in blue. And I like the fact that both these boxers have kept the momentum going. They came out in the belt at round one, flat out. And they've still got some left in reserve. Maybe not quite as powerful, maybe not quite as accurate. Keep that head up, says the referee. Both boxers. Well, in the first bout of the men's light fly, there was a real upset where the top-ranked boxer and European champion from Azerbaijan, the host nation, was uh, knocked out of the competition by K.O. Pong Preyun. And, of course, the second-ranked boxer at the bottom of the draw. No such upset in this last bite of this weight division. Just under 30 seconds now. Jeremy Beku, I have to say, in his first World Championship, has done himself and has done the French team proud here. He's just met a much more confident, much more experienced boxer in the round of 16. <laughs> and a jump of joy from the Korean boxer in blue. He knows he's done enough there. Consistently taking all three rounds. It was always going to be a tall order for Jeremy Beku. Very interesting to see whether Shin Yong meets his great rival David Arapatian later on. But the celebrations, of course, as we said earlier, are for the fact that the prizes for the winners of this round of 16 are qualification to the Olympics of 2012 in London. That's if you get to the quarter-final stage. <laughs> Shin Yong goes through. 22 to 10 against the French boxer Jeremy Beku. The Korean going through to the quarter-finals in the last of the men's light fly bouts here in Baku, Azerbaijan.
Jai number one, Algeria. Jai number two, Colombia. Jai number three, France. Jai number four, China. Jai number five, Korea.